In the last 50 years, we've doubled our population. Every four days, there's a million more people on the planet. It is the biggest crisis in human history. Dr. Nicolette Cayman has prompted the Federation to institute a one-child-per-family policy. And making a better future for our children. How do you plan on hiding this? I'll manage. Have you thought about names? There are seven. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Starting tomorrow, you will each get to go outside on the day of the week that is your name. Sunday, we'll get to go outside on Sunday, Monday on Monday, and so on. But outside of these walls, you will all take on the singular identity of Karen Sedman. What's your name? Karen Sedman. Karen, do you have any siblings? No. And wherever you are in, whatever you're doing, you can never tell a soul that you're a sibling. Where the hell is she? What if Monday's hurt or dead? And the authorities find her before we do. We gotta help her. We gotta go out there. We have to keep this localized. Do not underestimate the Setmans. All right, Shalom. First off, give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Give honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect. All the brothers across the four corners are enduring with truth and sincerity, and women and children who follow. I got a movie review I wanted to do over uh, do today over the movie What Happened to Monday. Now, this movie you can find on Netflix is a real good watch. Um, I suggest you brothers, you know, take a good look at it. So we're just going to break down the trailer. And uh, when you first watch the trailer, it gives the concept of overpopulation. You know, for some reason, people have been having more babies and uh, like twins and triplets and quadruplets at a time became like commonplace. So in you know this case, you know, they had seven kids, but it became a, a problem. So, of course, you know, they do what's called problem reaction solution so we're going to go into that real quick which problem reaction solution is you know they create a problem by arming a, arming and funding extremists to take down opponents by proxy what was the problem the problem was overpopulation is too many people okay they incited reaction from the public by demonizing the same bad guys you put into power so uh, what was the reaction? Oh my God, it's too many people. There's not going to be enough water. It's not going to be enough food or resources for everybody. So then they propose a solution. What's the solution? Depopulation. You can only have one kid. And if you have more than one kid, we're going to take them. And, you know, I'm not going to give away all, all the details of the movie, but we're going to basically take a kid and you know, it says, uh, involves military intervention, the loss of liberties, or both. And, you know, they formed this, this commission, which became like the New World Order. And, you know, they had they had the right to take away your kid. They had the right to come into your house to basically take all your civil liberties away, shut off the, the depopulation. And then they always say it's uh, for a better future. You know, they always want to give you that, that, um, that hotline 
that it's for your betterment that they're doing this. I just want to get this precept uh, while I'm in the midst of it. It says, First uh, Thessalonians 5 and 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. So they always trying to come at you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is for your betterment. This is for uh, the betterment of our future and our kids, and everybody's going to be, uh, you know, all good in the end. But really, you know, they putting the veil over your eyes so that they can, you know, fuck you over in the end. And they they have um the that she's not the main character, but I would say the the antagonist, the the villain in the story. She's basically like a Margaret Sanger type character. Who was Margaret Sanger started Planned Parenthood. And if you, you go into, you know, basically what she's doing, she created that one child only policy, which Margaret Sanger, she's the one that termed the coin, uh, that's, that's like it, uh, coined the term uh, Planned Parenthood, basically uh, birth control. You know, you got to control how we having all these kids, which... You know, she was a racist. She was basically trying to kill off the prop the population of Jake, which is why you always see those Planned Parenthoods in Jake neighborhoods. But that's basically where they got the the theme for her character. It's just they put it on a, a much massive scale. But the ultimate theme that I took from this movie uh, is definitely the chip. If you notice on um on the main character where she plays all seven sisters, she has a bracelet on her right wrist or her left wrist on what I believe it's on her right wrist, but um it could be her left yeah, I believe it's it's actually the left wrist on here. So, you know, they they do how they want to do. But um with that bracelet you have to be identified with that bracelet that has all your identity on it. Um, you also uh, buy and sell with that bracelet. So it's the mark of the beast. It's the RFID chip. You're identified within their problem reaction solution with that bracelet. You also have to use that bracelet to, to go to work. You have to use it to travel, to open up doors. You have to use it. To, to buy and sell. And that's all the things that we talk about as far as this RFID chip goes because the RFID chip does all of that. Now I'm going to uh, get this scripture which is uh, Revelations uh, chapter 13 and I'll start at verse 16. He says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Because in the movie, Everybody had to have that. If you if you were caught without it, then you know you got basically thrown in jail or you know killed because there's no way that they can identify you. You know what I'm saying? You had to be part of their image of the beast. You had to be part of their system. If you wanted to get in the door, you can't even get in your own door without it because that's how they identified you. Okay, that 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 was your house. If you wanted to start your car, if you wanted to go to work, they had different checkpoints around the city. If you wanted to get to a checkpoint around the city, you had to have your bracelet with you. So everybody, you know, whether you're a cop, whether you're a bum, whether you, uh, you know, play basketball for the Hornets or whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Everybody, rich, uh, poor, small, great, free, or bond. They had to have that bracelet, and that's how it's going to be in this society as well. And it says that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. And in the movie, it shows her buying rat for her family. Yeah, they had a big ass sewer rat that she bought for all seven sisters to eat. And when she scanned her bracelet, you could see a, a, a outline of a rat pop up. It was basically like she bought rat. Okay, so now the government knows that she bought rat. And that's how the system would work because the RFID chip holds a lot of information. 
So not only will it hold all your personal information, it's going to hold all your purchases. It'll hold um, what door you went in, at what time you went out that door, um, what time you started your car. You know, uh, it can it can uh, mark where you're traveling, just like Google Maps or something like that. You know, so it's total control. You're a slave to them, and, you know, you belong to them, not to your by Shem Yal Shai. It says that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. It says here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of a beast, for is the number of a man. This number is six hundred three score and six.